Hi there! My name is Emma and in today's video I'm going to teach you some great conversation skills. Nowadays one of the most popular things to talk about are movies or TV series or streaming series. So I'm going to teach you how to talk about these things, some of the key vocabulary, and I'll give you some examples of how we use these words. So let's get started. This is a common question nowadays. So, what are you watching these days? What does this mean? When someone asks this question, it means they want to know what movies or TV series you are watching. So I'm going to give you a formula on how to answer this question. We're going to look at it as one first, and then we're going to break it apart. So if someone asked me this question, what are you watching these days? I might say something like, I'm watching a series called Kim's Convenience. It's a comedy. It takes place in Toronto. It's about a Korean family that owns a convenience store in Toronto and their adventures. Um, I don't know who's in it. Um, most of the actors are not that famous. I give it a 9 out of 10. So we're going to go through each step here, but this is essentially how I might answer this question. So now let's look at each part. Okay, so when someone asks us what we are watching, after we say the name, we can talk about the genre. So that's this word right here. Genre is a fancy way to say type. We use the word genre when we're talking about books, movies, music, and again, it just means the type. So we can say it's a, and then we say the type of movie or series it is. So let's look at some examples. We could say it's a fantasy. Game of Thrones is an example of a fantasy. Oh, I'm watching a fantasy. Maybe we're watching a sitcom. A sitcom stands for situational comedy, but nobody says situational comedy. Instead, we say sitcom. Friends is a very famous sitcom. So is Seinfeld. So we might say, oh, I'm watching a sitcom right now. We might talk about a sci-fi. Sci-fi means science fiction. We say sci-fi for short. Star Trek is an example of a very famous sci-fi. Um, maybe we're watching a reality TV show. So a reality TV show is, it's sort of hard to explain if it's real or not. But it's a show where they follow people who are supposed to be real people. Um, so an example of a reality TV show is Keeping Up with the Kardashians. If you've ever heard of Kim Kardashian, she has a reality TV show. So maybe you're watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians and you might tell people, oh, it's a reality TV show. You might talk about a drama. Um, one example of a drama is a show called The Affair. You might say, if you're talking about a show that takes place in the past, you might say it's a period drama. An example of a period drama is a show called Rome, which takes place in ancient Rome. Um, maybe you're watching a mystery. So for example, um, Miss Marple is an example of a mystery. So again, for any of these genres, when you're describing a series, you can say it's a, and then you just say what type or what genre it is right here. So I want you to think of your favorite show or a series you are watching. What kind of show is it? You can say this out loud. It's a, and then you choose the correct genre. 
All right, so now let's look at the next thing we might say when we are talking about a series or a movie. Okay, so the next thing you might talk about when someone asks you, what are you watching? You might talk about the setting. Setting means when and where. So one way we talk about the setting is we use this verb, take, and then we use the word place. Takes place means when and where. So we can say it takes place in, and we can say either the time here or the date, or sorry, I mean the year, or the, the place. So let's look at some examples. Um, it takes place in ancient Rome. I could say that about the TV series Rome. It takes place in the 90s in New York. Maybe I'm talking about Seinfeld or Friends. But notice we have it takes place in, so in is the preposition we're using. The 90s is a decade or a time period, and NY stands for New York. Um, here's another example. It takes place in Wisconsin, which is a place, in the 1970s. Uh, this is an example from that 70s show. So whatever you're watching, when you are describing the time as well as the place, you can use the words it takes place in. So I want you to think about a series you are watching right now. When does it take place? So you can say this out loud to help you remember it. It takes place in, and you can write the year, or say the year and say the place. All right, so now let's look at the next thing we might talk about when we are talking about a series. Okay, so the next thing we might talk about when we're talking about movies or TV series is we might talk about the story. What is it about? So how will we talk about the story? Well, to begin with, first I want to teach the word plot. Plot is a fancy way of saying story. So when you're talking about the plot of a movie, you're talking about the story of a movie. So you can just start off by saying, oh, the series or the movie is about, and then just say a couple of sentences. Uh, one of the problems some people have is they explain the whole series or the whole movie in a lot of detail. This is not a good idea when someone asks, what are you watching? because usually people are just trying to make conversation and they don't want to hear about this series for the next half an hour. They just want a couple of sentences to tell them a little bit about it. So I'm gonna give you some examples of this. So imagine I'm telling my friends about Star Trek and somebody for some reason has no idea what Star Trek is. I might say, Oh, well, Star Trek is about a captain and his spaceship exploring space and different alien civilizations. So notice I didn't talk about the whole series of Star Trek and I didn't talk about the 1950s version versus, you know, Voyager and I didn't go into so much detail. I just said just one sentence about it. Um, here's another example. So imagine I'm talking about the TV sitcom Friends, okay? If somebody asks me, oh, what's Friends about? Well, I might say, oh, you know, it's about six friends um, in their 20s or early 30s and their dating and work experiences. I might say a couple more things, you know, oh, it's really funny. But in general, I'm going to keep my explanation short unless a person really wants to know more about the series. And then I might give more details. Okay, so now we're going to find out what other information we might give when we are talking about movies or TV series. Okay, so the next thing you might do when you are talking about movies or TV series is you might talk about who is in it. Is there anyone famous in it? Or maybe there's a famous director. Um, so how do you talk about actors or actresses 
who are famous in a TV series? Well, you could just say their name is in it. So for example, the TV show Friends has Jennifer Aniston. We can say the actress Jennifer Aniston is in it. Jennifer Aniston is in Friends. If we're talking about Seinfeld, we could say Jerry Seinfeld is in Seinfeld. Um, if we're talking about Game of Thrones, we might say Amelia Clark is in Game of Thrones. Another way to say this is you can use the word star. So star can be a verb, and we use it when we're talking about actors and actresses. Who is the main actor or actress? If we're talking about Terminator, we could say Arnold Schwarzenegger stars in it. Um, and this just is a reminder, I wrote famous people here to say you can put different famous people in these sentences. So the next thing we might talk about when we talk about movies or TV series is we might talk about how good it is. Do we recommend it? One way to say this is we can give a movie or a TV series a score out of 10. If it's amazing, you can say, I give it a 10 out of 10. And notice how we say this number, we say 10 out of 10, and I've written it right there. I give it a nine out of 10. Maybe the series is not that great. I give it a three out of 10. Don't watch it, you might tell someone. So here is an adjective we can use to describe really, really good series. We can say it's binge-worthy. When we binge on a TV show or a series, it means we watch a lot of it as fast as we can because it's so good. We call these series binge-worthy. For me, when I watched Game of Thrones, I watched a lot of Game of Thrones. It was binge-worthy. I was excited to find out what would happen next. So if I'm talking about that show, I'd say it's binge-worthy. You can also recommend it. This is a way to say I recommend it. You can say you should check it out. I recommend it. You should check it out. So these are the ways we can talk about movies and TV series and how we can answer the question, what are you watching these days? So thanks so much for watching. I recommend you come visit our website at www.invid.com and there you can take a quiz to practice all this great vocabulary you've just learned. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to ring the bell to see new videos that are coming out and also to just see the videos we have. We have videos on pronunciation, on grammar, on study skills, and so much more. I also recommend you check out my website at www.teacheremma.com. There you can find some more English resources. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care.